in the book of Genesis, the Lord said, it is not good for the man to be alone. It says, I will make a helper suitable for him. Then the Lord God made a woman from the rib he had taken out of the man and he brought her to the man. This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife and they will become one flesh. Proverbs 31 reads, a wife of noble character who can find it. She is worth far more than rubies. Her husband has full confidence in her and lacks nothing of value. She brings him good, not harm, all the days of her life. I, Brian, take you, Kayla. I, Brian, take you, Kayla. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. I will love. I will love. And honor you. And honor you. All the days of my life all the days of my life. Kayla, likewise, if you would repeat after me, I, Kayla, take you, Brian. I, Kayla, take you, Brian. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. I will love. I will love and honor you and honor you all the days of my life all the days of my life Brian as you place Kayla rings on her finger would you repeat after me Kayla I give you this ring Kayla I give you this ring to wear with love and joy to wear with love and joy as a ring has no end, as a ring has no end, neither shall my love for you. Neither shall my love for you. I choose you to be my wife. I choose you to be my wife. This day and forevermore. This day and forevermore. Kayla, as you slide that ring on Brian's finger, would you repeat after me? Brian, I give you this ring. Brian, I give you this ring. To wear with love and joy. To wear with love and joy. As a ring has no end. As a ring has no end. Neither shall my love for you. Neither shall my love for you. I choose you. I choose you. To be my husband. To be my husband. This day and forevermore. This day and forevermore. By virtue of the authority vested in me as a minister of the word of God, and by the laws of this state, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Therefore, what God has joined together, let man not separate. Brian, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and privilege to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Brian Striffler.
greatest lesson I have today to pass along to you two is from Jesus. The capacity to forgive. Since you will at some point, all of us, make mistakes and need forgiveness, some more than others, um, I pray that both of you will forgive each other, friends, family, and be willing to give second chances. Everyone, please enjoy this special day. I look forward to the journey ahead, and may the two of you please have the blessings of children of your own. God bless you all. Keep Christ first, and all will work well. I could tell you countless stories about all the, all, all the escapades we got into and the trouble we got in. I could tell you about the day that Brian whis whiskey throttled a dirt bike and wrecked into a tree. He immediately swore off everything with two wheels, won't even consider a motorcycle. I could even tell you about the time he totaled a miles of three in an accident while he was a pedestrian. But there's no need to get into all that. What I will tell you is that Brian is extremely loyal and he will do anything in the world for you. He's the most patient guy that I know and he's a brother to me for life and I have no doubt that he'll bring these things into his marriage with Kayla. And I'll leave you guys with this, a toast to Kayla and Brian, a life full of love and happiness. I love you guys, congratulations. We were roommates and pretty quickly became best friends. She likes to tell people that she forced her friendship on me but it's pretty hard not to love Kayla. Um, she's one of the most loyal, loving, and bubbly people you'll ever meet. If you don't have a Kayla, get yourself one. Just not her. She's mine. Well, Brian, you can share with me, I guess. <laughs> um, Brian, I've known you for six years now, and I don't know the moment that we became friends. I shouldn't have looked at you, Kayla. Um, I'm lucky to call you one of mine. You are patient, kind, honest, and loyal, especially with Kayla. Um, when we were in college, me and Kayla uh, came home one afternoon, I think it was after practice or something. Um, Brian had cleaned our entire apartment. Do you know how hard it is to get men to clean? <laughs> That's when I knew Brian was a keeper. Um, I'm honored to have stood next to you guys today and be a part of your day. I love you both so much. Cheers to Brian and Kayla.